a beginner in cybersecurity and want to revolutionize your cybersecurity game, this video will guide you to a step-by-step -step installation of Nessus, a powerful vulnerability scanning tool for free. By learning Nessus, you can secure your systems and networks like pro. Watch till the end to learn how to install Nessus for free. Before we dive into the installation process, let's quickly talk about Nessus. It's a widely used vulnerability scanner that helps identify potential security flaws in computer system, networks, and applications. Nessus is highly regarded in cybersecurity community and can play a crucial role in securing digital assets. To get started, open your web browser and search for Nessus Download. Click on the official Tenable website as it's the most reliable source for downloading Nessus. Choose Tenable Nessus. Select your respective platform. Nessus is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So make sure you select the appropriate version of operating system in this drop-down list. There are multiple download methods too. You can download it via curl command in terminal or a Docker container from Docker Hub or a virtual machine image or simply by pushing the download button. After pushing the download button, the license agreement will appear. Click on agree and the file starts to download. Great! The download process has begun. Depending on your internet speed, it may take a few moments to be completed. After the download is finished, locate the downloaded file on your computer and test the file checksum for integrity before installation. In the Tenable website, copy the SHA-256 checksum of the download file. Open terminal in your machine, create file SHA-256 under a Nessus by nano command. Paste the checksum from Tenable into the file, add two white space and copy the name of downloaded file. Now save the information into the file and exit. In a terminal, calculate the SHA-256 checksum for the downloaded file and send the output into the file SHA-256 underline check. Run a diff command to compare the two checksums. You get no output if they are matched. Now checksum confirmed or file is identical copy. Let's double click on the file to begin the installation process. The installation wizard will guide you through the necessary steps as you see. The method is the same for all operating systems. During the installation, you get a prompt to agree to the terms and conditions. Make sure you read and understand them before proceeding. Once you've accepted, choose the installation location and click continue. You should get installation successful at the end of the installation wizard. After it's completed, you'll need to set your Nessus account. This step is essential for obtaining an activation code and accessing the free version of Nessus. Nessus Essential is a free version of Nessus that is useful for practice. To get your free license, go to Tenable website the link is in the video description. The license is free for students and educators. Fill the form and the activation code will be sent to your email address. Nessus is running in your local host and the default port depends on your operating system. Open web browser, write localhost, colon, and the port that is running in your computer. In my Example is 8834. First time, it asks you for SSL certificate. Click on it. It might ask for your permission to continue without SSL certificate. Select Nessus Essential in the Welcome page and then click on Continue. If you have
have not registered before, you can fill the form to get an activation code. If you already have an activation code, click on the skip button. You should copy your activation code in order to proceed. It will show your license if the code is valid. Next step is creating a Nessus account to use the Nessus service. It's your credential to the Nessus dashboard on your installation. After you submit your account, the plugin will be downloaded and initialized in your machine. Fantastic! Nessus is now activated and ready to use. You can start exploring its features and conducting vulnerability scans on your network, systems, or applications. The activation code does not have an expiry date. Now let's create a first scan. Click on New Scan, select Policy from Template, add name and description, select the folder to store a scan result, and add the target host. You can add the IP address or DNS name of one target or multiple targets in a target box or add a target file. Make sure you have permission to perform a scan on the target host. If you want to learn how to assess the scan result, don't miss our comprehensive tutorial on how to read the scan report. We hope this guide has been helpful in getting you started with this powerful cybersecurity tool. Remember, every cyber attack starts with exploiting vulnerability. Regularly scanning your systems and identifying vulnerabilities before bad guys is essential to stay one step ahead of hackers. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more cybersecurity tips and tutorials.